The project uh, has been an international collaboration with colleagues around the globe and it was focused on trying to understand in unprecedented molecular detail the processes that are involved to uh, take specialized cells from an adult body and reprogram them into a cell that is a stem cell or has stem cell-like properties. Making induced pluripotent uh, stem cells is the first step towards implementing successful uh, regenerative medicine approaches. This is very important because one of the key features uh, required for successful regenerative medicine approaches is that the process has to be safe and efficient. My team's role in the consortium was to provide expertise in the study of RNA molecules and intermediate in the gene function pathway. Together with my two postdocs, we have been uh, profiling the changes in small RNA molecules during cell reprogramming. We've been able to identify many such changes and also uh, we identified that the, the novel pluripotent stem cell state that we characterized is distinct also in the population of small RNA molecules that they contain. We have been able to characterize an alternate uh, stem cell-like state that was previously not uh, described. And, and the hope with this novel state, which we call F-class state, is that it might be a first prototype of a designer stem cell uh, material that could have superior properties for regenerative medicine. Having five papers coming out concurrently uh, from this consortium is a very proud moment in my career. It's not often that one has the opportunity to publish in such a prestigious journal, let alone several papers at once. The ultimate promise of regenerative medicine to replace organs in sick patients is some way down the track still. Although there is a first clinical trial that has been approved and is underway in Japan at the moment, uh, looking at using induced pluripotent stem cells for the treatment of macular degeneration.